On Wednesday, the Medal of Honor will be awarded to a pair of Civil War soldiers who stole a locomotive deep in Confederate territory and drove it north for 87 miles as they destroyed railroad tracks and telegraph lines. U.S. Army Privates Philip G. Shadrach and George D. Wilson were captured and executed by hanging. But the White House said that President Joe Biden is recognizing their courage 162 years later with the country's highest military decoration. Members of Shadrach and Wilson's families traveled from parts of the United States and Canada to be present at the ceremony. Oh, he was so brave. I believe in being able to do what we've learned and the valor and, and the bravery that it took to stand there on those gallows, knowing he would, with the noose around his neck that he was going to at any moment die. But he chose to step forward and have some last words to everyone. And those words are being, as I said, not verbatim, but basically that he was there to serve his country, but that and had no ill feelings for the people of the South. He had just hoped for the abolition of slavery and that they could all be brought together under one flag and be one union. Privates Shadrach and Wilson will receive the Medal of Honor posthumously for their gallantry and intrepidity while participating in a covert military operation 200 miles behind Confederate lines on April 12, 1862. In one of the earliest special operations in U.S. Army history, Union soldiers dressed as civilians infiltrated the Confederacy, hijacked a train in Georgia and drove it north, destroying enemy infrastructure along the way. From what I've kind of learned about him, I kind of feel that he was a bit adventurous, a bit of a free spirit, and uh, yeah, this was just a, something to do and something that was brave and something that would maybe get him able to make his mark. And I don't know... I have a feeling, but I don't know that he necessarily knew that, you know, this could end in the end of his life if they got caught. I think he probably knew that in the back of his mind somewhere. But I think, yeah, I just like people to remember him, uh, yeah, as a brave soldier who did what he thought was right.